month, we went and checked out an amazing couple that are both artists, Kevin and Snow Mac. Kevin Mac is an Academy Award winning visual effects supervisor. He also does some really psychedelic 3D graphics paintings. His wife, Snow Mac, just has a bunch of different styles that she incorporates to be all her own. Some photorealism in there, some surrealism, even some cartoon and comic book art. We got Kevin and Snow Mac coming at you right now. make my living in visual effects uh, for movies. And so I've been a part of the, the evolution of computer graphics for uh, many years now. And uh, I've really uh, embraced that uh, tool set. I, when I first started drawing as a kid, uh, you know, I, I drew comic books. I wanted to draw comic books when I grew up. Then I got into photorealism. I really liked the idea of taking a mundane moment and and uh, you know, working on it for months to create a single uh, image that was uh, somehow it was reverent. It was you know, it was it was empowered. And I was a traditional visual effects artist doing matte paintings and miniatures for movies, and I had started to fool around with the computer for making art, and uh, it was sort of I was in the right place at the right time, and because I had traditional visual effects uh, experience. Um, and I had computer skills that when it sort of broke for uh, visual effects and they started using computers in visual effects, I, I just, I had both skill sets which was very unusual at the time. Where the technology just gets better and better and better and more and more powerful and it's finally getting to the point where uh, you know, you can create images at very high resolution that are high enough fidelity that you can make large prints from them. I did a lot of sculpture uh, and stop motion animation with clay and so I was really into sculpture and now there's software that um, you know you can it, it's just like working with clay it's even even better. I'm able to take those models and uh, print them out in 3D as actual physical sculptures and it's really it's a surreal and bizarre feeling. I think art is, is incredibly important and, and far more important than people realize or are aware of because art is really the only way that the human brain is able to develop creativity. Um, it is through the experience of art that our brains develop broader associations and uh, that our own imagination is, is incited. Bats in the eaves go shiver in my Scarecrows watch the verges of life I'd say my work is mostly surreal. It's uh, fantasies, dreams, very much dream-oriented pieces, or they come out of meditations. Um, they're like puzzle pieces. You kind of have to solve them. They're riddles. I mean, ideas. I've got like a backlog of ideas. I keep a sketchbook. I keep books by my bed to draw. If I wake up and had a crazy dream, I'll draw it. The one I just finished, the little Rita Lynn. That was an idea from two years ago, which finally, like, I couldn't stand it anymore and had to start painting it. And I've always tried to be, like, give myself new challenges. Like, for a while I did, like, really simple palettes. Just, I called them the Vintage Cheese series, where it was browns and sepia tones. Now I'm doing explosions of colors. And I did a while, I did just black and white and red. So I've got these different genres. I mean, they stand apart probably because of the palette, not so much of the subject matter. Now I'm starting a new decade of work, and it's kind of going back to previous work. It's more like portrait-oriented and a little more um, realistic rendering, but always still in the same sort of surrealistic vein. And the frame sort of makes it all sort of go together. Yeah. Like I'm really just, I've always been sort of 
have to set the artwork inside of some sort of boundary or border, whether it's a, a faux old-fashioned picture frame or the gold frames that I came up with uh, years ago. I was just trying to make a cheap frame that looked kind of fancy. So I stuck the toys on the frame and then sprayed it gold and people seem to really respond to it. So I still do it. I think art serves the purpose of being entertainment, first of all, and then it's educational, it's inspiring. Um, it's also sometimes it's tough because somebody will present an idea that you don't agree with, but they have to have their voice and it should be getting out there. I mean, there's art that I don't like because it's too um, political, but at the same time, the freedom of expression is what makes art so powerful. Hope you guys enjoyed Kevin and Snow's work. I know I do, I'm a really big fan. Keep tuning in and checking out artatwill.com. We have a very special 10th episode coming out next month with one of my all-time favorite artists, even a couple of celebrity guest interviews, artatwill.com.